welcome to this very special game cast on Black Forest Duel. It's very special because we've got two UK divisions here. So we've got Doherty, UK Doherty, playing the second UK Infantry Division. It's called second because it's the second worst division in the game. And we've got Lathans, or Nor Lathans, Norway. Uh, oh man, I might as well just start again. Playing as the first UK Armoured Division, and it's called that because it's the first worst division in the game. And we're on Black Forest, so Black Forest Duel even. So what's the deal with Black Forest Duel? Well, basically, uh, Blue gets Foxtrot, Alpha, and Echo at the start and red gets delta bravo charlie at the start once again the powers that be really like having symmetrical numbers of zones uh or you know even numbers of zones and so both guys start with three zones and then they fight each other right the thing is that uh blue gets preferential access to foxtrot and red gets preferential access to charlie but Second UK is not as good in the open as First UK, and First UK is not as good in the forest as Second UK. The uh, obviously because Second is an infantry division and First is an armored division, as you might expect. So it'll be interesting to see both players try and attack the res their respective zones where they have advantages. That is at least I assume how they will play it. I have not watched this. I do not watch them beforehand. Somebody asked me that. I don't have time and you know what's the point <laughs> it makes me less excited as well if i don't if if i know what's going to happen so i don't bother with that so let's uh let's cast the deployments so we've got uh two sas here and they're forward deployed they're going to charlie behind and also a sniper squad and he's going to the church so religious people can see further than atheists so the sniper's going to be able to see pretty far and you see, like, this is how far an atheist can see. This is how far a religious person can see. So you want the sniper in the church. That's where I'd be. Only Saving Private Ryan fans will get that reference. Also got some scouts here. Uh, it's an interesting spot to put them, because as you can see, they can't actually see you down the road. <laughs> so here's a better place for them. And a fox, and the fox is going to here. What I really like to do with the fox is get it, get it round here, round here, round here, send it back here, and put it here. This is the most annoying spot in the game, like there, because you can shoot them as they come down the road in the side and the back. Always shoot your enemy in the back, top tip. And we've got air mobile gun groups in the Saxons, so these guys are nine men with three MGs. And air mobile pioneers, these guys are nine men with three MGs and a rocket launcher. I don't like bringing them because they come at one vet lower than the standard air mobile in this patch. Who knows what will happen in the future. But in the patch I'm currently playing, patch I'm currently casting, this patch, the current patch, they don't do that. And we've got Air Mobile Leader, eight men in a Lynx. Uh, it's quite rare to see this, actually, um, just because helicopters are very fragile. But here it's a great idea getting to Charlie straight away. Then on the right side, we've got Sniper Team. Sniper's going to there. And, you know, so snipers get the additional stealth, right? So it makes them very difficult to spot. And it is a good unit. I prefer the... So I prefer the recon... What are they even called? Like recon... Basically, it's the recon version of this. And it's better than this. Uh, but it's also a little bit more expensive. But these guys do get the extra stealth. They don't get extra vision, but they do get extra stealth, which makes them extremely difficult to spot. Two more air mobile gun groups going to the town and a Milan 2 going to here. It's a good spot for it. Another thing you can do is actually put it in the church. But given the range, yeah, you want you want that extra range, I guess. So on this side, we've got another air mobile. They're going to here. Milan 2 going to here. Rapier FSA going to here. And a CV going to Echo and then presumably onto Foxtrot. So it, it would be cool to get a recon here, if at all possible. Uh, but that's just my personal preference. Switch into Lathan's deployment. Lathan's, um, the last time I saw him on this map was him versus T-Man plays for the Warno League. Link in the description. If I don't remember, please remind me. And the game after that, he played first UK. Uh, 
and uh, and he he's convinced first UK is really good. I keep telling him it's the weakest division in the game. That's why it's first, first the worst, second the also worst. If you remember that nursery rhyme. So he's got Terry Paris Carl Gustavs, and he's going one here, one here, one here, and a Para Milan two. That's going to there. And an SAS patrol, and that's going to here. So it's quite aggressive. So he really does want to get into Foxtrot. So he's going to secure this zone and then go into Foxtrot. Uh, behind that, two scimitars. These are like the Fox, but you sacrifice speed for more armor, basically. And also, it's mediocre stealth. Anyway, these are going to here and here. So he definitely wants to do an early game aggro into Foxtrot. And then he's got a striker, so these have good range, good AP, but not very good accuracy. But because it's upvetted, because uh, the CV is near it, it's 50 instead of 45. So the striker's going to here, two arm rifles, also going to here, two Chieftain Mark 9. So these are quite cost effective, uh, but they lose to any any proper heavy tank, they lose to them quite significantly because the, they don't have a max range on the gun, the fire rate's not great. Base fire rate 7, but it's been up vetted by the CV. It's been double up vetted. One. So he's brought it up vetted, and then it's got an extra vet from the CV being next to it. Anyway, these two are going to here. And two tracked rapiers. One here, one here. This one is in an interesting spot, given that... Because the range is so bad, like, don't you want it up here? Because um, I don't think it'll accomplish anything. On the right, he's just completely given up on the right. So he's playing to his advantages. So yeah, he's, he's just got one rifles going to here to make sure that there's no fox coming around the back to do this, <laughs> as we spoke about. And some scouts going to here. This is a, extremely important. If the blue player gets this, it's extremely difficult for the red player to hold on to Bravo. And vice versa. If the blue player is trying to attack into Bravo and the red player has this, you just constantly get hit by 80 gems in the side and he can basically just see all your units. So, you know, you try and hide people behind this house, like your CV, and the, the Milan 2 just blows it up, and you can constantly see it. Anyway, we'll cast the game, and uh, I'll do it from this perspective, because Ingerlund... Right, so they're off, and I'd like to take the time to thank the generous channel joiners. Uh, they get the videos up to a week early. They get members-only videos. There are some videos they've got, like, six months early, because I made them, and then I never got around to releasing them. So they get all those. It's like nine Broken Arrow videos that they can watch. And they get the names on the screen. At the high levels, you get your games cast by me. Uh, as opposed to somebody else. <laughs> and yeah, it really helps me out. It really helps me out. One uh, name on the screen is worth 2,000 views in terms of revenue. Ad revenue is actually very bad. YouTube takes the lion's share of it. So if you're feeling bad about your ad blocker, you could subscribe for one month. And then you could cancel it. And you could get your 2,000 uh, views in without feeling bad. So that's like five years of hippie Warno content or what have you. And yeah, this map's massive. And that gives second UK a big advantage because a lot of their things arrive in helicopters, which means you can get them there quite fast. The bigger the map, the more helicopters have an advantage over forward deployment. So you see, this was forward deployed. This was in a helicopter. They're both going to the same place and the helicopter gets there first. Similarly, if Doherty had tried to take these, um, he would have got here before these guys did. So, really interested to see this. So, Lathan's is just, he just doesn't care about the forest at all. He's put... Where's this one going? That's right, so he's very, very concerned about foxes. So, he's, he's bought all these rifles and put them all around to stop the foxes. What you can also do is buy the scimitars for the same job, and the scimitars are a bit cheaper than the rifles and the transport. Obviously, you get the transport cost back. First air out for Doha. He seems to think there's somebody there, but there's not. Um, yeah, interesting. So he's destroyed that building, which actually would have been a very helpful building for him to have. Because if you've got the Milan 2 in this building, then you could shoot these guys. But... Well, but nothing. Uh, he can't shoot down the road. <laughs> so that's going to be a big problem. And I'm going to be entirely honest with you. Lathan's pushing with this force. It's a great force. But this rapier being over here is a mistake. This should be with the force. Because second UK gets these Jaguar 2 Jaguar clusters, right? These two Jaguar clusters. And they're very, very good. And against one rapier, uh, I'm pretty sure the rapier won't kill the cluster. I'm... 
I'm going to go out on a limb here. I haven't seen the game, but I'm going to assume that we will see the Jaguar clusters and I'll get a, up, get the opportunity to prove that to you. But yeah, Doherty sitting comfortable on a plus one and now, yeah, here we go. Foxes are going round. And the rifles, you know, they're trying to defend, but it's a big forest. <laughs> it's a big forest and auto cannons are just so good against helicopters that you send the scout helicopter, the Gazelle, 4 HP, and the fox just blows it up as soon as it spots it. Which is very frustrating. So Lathans has bought the mortar now for the smoke. I think he's bought two. He's bought three. He's bought all three. So he definitely wants to smoke. And that Milan's probably going to go down. I mean, no, he smokes in time. This is going to run out of rounds very, very quickly. Another thing you can do is cheese it by just driving the Milan for for warrior forwards and then backwards and then forwards and then backwards. And it will constantly fire ATGMs at it. Waste all your ATGMs. It's a very good strat. It's a very good strat. And yeah, it's impossible to cover all of this, right? So the Fox will eventually get through. The thing is that I don't think Lathans is going to be sending anything down here for like at least uh, at least until he's taken this. If he does take this, right, then I guess he'll focus on this. Or he might just sit there and wait it out. I don't know. But Doherty on a plus two at the moment. And Lathans moving up. He's got this to here. But yeah, it could, and hmm, interesting. Sort of cuts both ways in that the Milan can't see the SCS, but the SCS can't see the Milan. But he knows it's there because he saw it shoot at his warrior Milan. Two hell arms, and there's no man pads here. It's just the rapiers. He really needs some javelin lamaus. They're really good for pushes because you can have them near the front. Whereas the rapier, it's only got one armor. It's very expensive. It dies in one hit, and the helicopter range isn't actually that good. So tornado, is it going to go for the hell arm? Rapier FSA gets slightly better range than the standard Rapier. Because it has a radar on it, but it's not on a truck. I don't understand why there's no truck Rapier FSA. Right, here we go. Rover coming in. Not sure what this is. Oh, it's going for that, and that's already used at smoke. Or is it going for this? It was going for that. And there you go, he's in. And this CV was left here, so... It's going to be even Stevens in a second. Uh, this is looking pretty bad for Doherty. I mean, in, in terms of this locale, obviously he's up on points, and if Lathans takes this, then it'll be back to even again. So, the, but the Hell Arms, there's no answer to the Hell Arms, because obviously the Rapier's back here, because it's so fragile, it's got to be at the back, and this is why you need the Javelin Lamaus when you're attacking. And the Hell Arms are going to start rinsing this, but I don't think they can see this. But there's... <laughs> 155 millimeter will do the job. Absolutely domes that guy. And yeah, you need to get these back. You need to get these back. Obviously, that's going to miss, but that's fine. Tank smoke costs 200 supplies, so you need these supplies. This is the HE one, not the. Crucially, though, he went for the tank and not. Oh, he went for the warrior and not the. What? Surely this dies. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say. Um. He went for the warrior and not the rapier, but I guess he didn't see the rapier. A recon here would be... Oh, there is a recon here. Is that going to go for the rapier? That's going to be huge, because then there's going to be no AA. Right? That's a big problem. <laughs> that is a big problem for Lathans. These two obviously don't see each other. This is an interesting spot. I prefer this one, but there's nothing wrong with this, because, yeah, you'll shoot them in the side. It's just if they're infantry, they'll unload and kill you. Right, mortars coming out. Uh, they're not on the smoke. 81mm mortars are absolutely useless. Britain only has access to 81mm. Really surprised Doherty hasn't just sent the CV round and just put it here. Because <laughs> um, it's not doing anything there. And yeah, the Milan 2, as long as he doesn't panic, it'll take a very, very long time to, for anything to happen to this. That's four mortars. I thought you only got three, so clearly I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Uh, oh, I guess with the 120 mils you only get three. And yeah, you see it takes four mortars a very long time to kill this. So I guess he should have just moved it out. <laughs> so the Saxon's going to start slowly picking away at these guys because the Chieftain can't see it because of this house. Um, eventually this will go down. But where's the counter battery? Surely, uh, surely there should be some counter battery. There's not. He's going for the armed rifles. Is this a... It's self-propelled, so we could move it. But it's got less than one top armor. 
And there's also a hidden bonus that artillery gets to mortars. Uh, artillery gets to other artillery. There is a hidden bonus there. Uh, there's lots of hidden bonuses in this game. Lots of hidden bonuses. You ever wonder why auto cannons are so good against helicopters? It's because there's a hidden bonus. And between a couple patches, uh, Derek's just changed the hidden bonus and didn't tell anybody. <laughs> um, or at least, well, I don't know. It, maybe he did tell everybody, but people don't know because there's no way to check. And and so now auto cannons delete helicopters. But yeah, the Milan, as you can see, the Milan got out. <laughs> and all four of those mortars for nothing. For nothing. Lathan's committing to the tracked rapiers. I, I really think the the Javelin Lamaus are the way. Well, I mean, he's sort of committing to everything. It's all AA. All AA this minute. But everything just takes so long to arrive. But yeah, once again, I, Doha really needs to just bring this CV up to here. Like, you just use the LOS tool. Nobody can see me. This is going to die. No, it's not. Incredible. HE insert cluster, but he's going for infantry, so it makes sense. Chieftain Mark 9 against Milan spam. And yeah, that wow, the mortars, the mortars, they do so much damage, guys. The 81mm mortars, incredible. And the Phantom F3 should lose to the tornado, but the tornado doesn't want to fly over the AA. He knows about this because it shot him before. See, it's missing a round. You need uh to be honest, this needs to be a bit up here as well. Although if you move it up there, it might die to something over here. This is uh not intelligent. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that went about as well as you might expect. <laughs> Obviously, he doesn't know about... It. As far as he's concerned, he's just killed the rapier, right? And so I guess he doesn't know about these. But you should really kind of expect that to be the case. Here we go. Oh, he actually bought another one. He just left this one here. <laughs> he just bought another one. So, plus one for Doherty. And this is probably gonna... Well, it depends if he reacts. Yeah, he reacts. Because this only deals 4 HE, and this has 6 HP. And because he, he had it on attack move, so instead of... What you want to do, guys, is not have it on attack move. Because you'll get you'll get to max range and it'll shoot. And then the enemy will move the helicopter back. And as soon as it does a little wobble and it'll move out of the zone. Uh, it'll move out of the zone of fire. Whereas if you move it slightly into here, then you'll get two shots off before he gets out. And then he, and then you might win. But yeah, the, the micro... Don't hurt his micro, not fantastic here. He just sort of let those two die, you know, let his one arm rifles die to those two rifles. And then, yeah, this is very typical. You should really expect this. You should always expect this because uh, that's how it goes. And so the hell arm will, will see it. So it's good. That's like that. And yeah, that artillery is not going to accomplish anything. Uh, scimitar's coming out. One's going this way. Incredible. Where's that going? there. What? <laughs> Interesting decision. I, <laughs> you've got the rifles. I, I don't see don't see the idea. Um, right, so he's thinking to himself, eh, this didn't work. I'll go over here. But honestly, he's got these four mortars. What he needs is a CV and some smoke. Um, and just smoke the hell out of it and just put, put the CV in here. Make sure it's... Uh, he's buying a tank one, so there you go. That won't die to the artillery, at least not quickly. And you can also move it around, unlike the Rover... Well, it won't die to the artillery quickly, unlike the Rover CP. You can also move it around, like the Rover CP. And, uh, yeah, this is... I guess he hasn't been spending his income. Chieftain Mark 9s... Ah, uh, there we go. He's hitting the AA now, which is very intelligent. And that mm, will probably survive... But yeah, it's got less than one top armor because obviously, you know, like the cabin might be protected, but <laughs> the actual, the important part isn't. And yeah, it's all, when you're trying to take this zone, the, this side is crucial. And I also make this mistake where I just don't invest enough on this side. If you can just get up to this side and then get to these buildings, the enemy doesn't get in the zone. If, if the, if red can get up to this side and get to about here, uh, you know, then it's very, very easy to kill the CV in the zone. It's very easy to kill the CV in the zone, right? So you wanna, you want to work your way around the zone, and it, you can't really get this way because it's a nice open field with some buildings around it, so it's very difficult. Whereas here, you can fight in the forest, and second UK should have an advantage in the forest because he gets these guys with lots of machine guns. Basically, the UK doesn't get napalm or anything, so they're forced to rely on lots of machine guns. 
This guy's just gonna fly over all the SAS. No, never mind. And yeah, you also need to bring supply here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so this scimitar is going to be interesting when it gets to here because it will kill lots of reinforcements. Same with these rifles. You should always expect this. Always expect this. And yeah, I'd love to see Doherty engage and move this guy back, get him healed up, get this guy healed up. Uh, but right now he's on plus two, so he's sitting pretty with a 500 point lead. And because the map's so big and the point values are so small, uh, this is uh, actually more like a thousand points in in regular game terms because like this is it's going to be about seven hundred by the time this gets to here even if it wasn't contested and then yeah it's uh, it's very difficult to make the points back in Black Forest because everything's plus one anyway right so if he contests it then it'll be plus nothing he's got to take it to get plus two and then he's got to get plus two for the next many minutes many many minutes like eight minutes or something he2 just yolo in into the tornado uh, it drops two of its four bombs oh my god it's gonna get out isn't it <laughs> the tornado goes down because of all the rapiers but i don't understand why lathans hasn't bought a hoet so very useful on these maps as you can see doherty's uh doherty's hoetsers are uh I mean, that, that one didn't get anything, but before, you know, he was getting stuff. So, Lathans has changed tack. He's coming this way now. Uh, but, crucially, his AA is over here. And the AA doesn't have particularly great range. So, Doherty knows he can get a plane to here without it being shot. Like, he knows basically the AA disposition from what happened before. Lathans switching to HE. Well, I mean, switching. That's all he's been doing. Uh, with the mortars so far. No smoke. But here you don't really want to smoke. Oh, okay. So he really wants to mortar that town. <laughs> really wants to mortar that town. We'd love to see a hell arm here. Because look, there's no AA. The AA is back here. Uh, and because of the buildings and stuff, like you can put a hell arm here and put it on low altitude. And then he literally has to bring the AA here to do anything. So the AA is coming in. And this scimitar's. Oh, he's going for the artillery. That's really intelligent. That's actually really, really intelligent. And he'll probably get there as well. So here we go, Helam's moving over now. But they might cross the path of... No, this rapier's too far back. So this is where you want the Milan 2 in the church. Because uh, it still won't be able to hit anything. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh, air mobiles. It's going to be very difficult for Lathans to push into this. This guy needs to get back though. It's on 1 HP. No, he's not. He's on 7. What the hell? I'm losing it. Uh, just looks like a one, I guess. But yeah, the scouts are dying here. Lathan's attacking on two fronts simultaneously to make casting more difficult. Harrier rocket coming in. What's it going for? I don't know about these Harrier rockets, man. I think they're a bit garbage. Just bring another Jaguar. <laughs> but you see how lethargic the tracked rapiers are, particularly with all these LOS breaks. And so he's actually going to probably get out. What the hell is that? What is that? What an air wave. So fighter first. Uh, and he's going to get a lot of kills with this. Loses the fighter. Look at that carousel. <laughs> and they're all going to get out apart from the fighter. Blimey. What a play. What a play. Really interesting way to play first UK. There's basically two ways of doing it. One is spam tanks. And the other is have some tanks. And also lots of planes. <laughs> Stolly's going to get capped by the fox. That's the interesting part. Uh, well, no, I think the interesting part is this. But, yeah, the fox won't kill it. It'll cap it because because uh, it won't see it until it's... There you go. Free Stolly. That's 1,250 supply. So, yeah, interesting decision by Lathans to not bring the howitzers, but it seems to be working. And that challenger is going to get three shot by that Milan 2. And uh, Doha, he's lost a lot of his guys. He doesn't have supply in here, but if he gets a charger to here, he'll get a lot of kills. But then you've got to put somebody here, otherwise the rifles will come around. Uh, nobody's paying attention to this, apparently. Uh, Warrior Milan's going down. There was an attack here. The scimitars, it got... Yeah, the scimitars on the artillery. He gets one. Uh, he's fast-pathing it, which means it's only going to have the 30% accuracy. But he's, he's probably going to... I don't see any, you know, 
nobody can get here in time. So there goes Doherty's artillery, and that, that was probably his only Hoitzers, unless he brought two cards of Hoitzers. So great play from Lathan, so he's getting in here. Th these guys are just AFK. <laughs> And no, he's not noticed. He didn't notice he lost the stolly. He didn't notice he lost the stolly. But, okay, I actually really want to watch this. Because if he doesn't unload these, this will kill all of them. But he might unload them. Oh, actually, mm, what? Uh, what? Okay. Imagine if this was here or here. But he does get two for free. Uh, and, yeah, so... Somebody died over here as well, and the mortars are mortaring. The the arc on the mortars is too much, honestly. It just takes too long for those shells to get there. It's, it's very silly. But I reckon if they made the arc better, Darix would just increase the aim time so it was the same. <laughs> Doesn't seem to like artillery very much. So the challenger beats the chieftain, but the warrior... In the, in the closed combat, the warrior might just beat it. Well, it probably won't, actually. Uh, but we'll see. Get some good hits off on, on the because of the pen on the auto cannon because the auto cannon shoots faster than the tank. And yeah, these guys are just yeah. So these weren't even meant for this. They were meant for down here, but it paths it there because that's faster than this way. And so he lost all his reinforcing infantry, right? So it was supposed to be four reinforcing infantry, two died, and oh, he sent in the CV as well. I, the CV is probably gonna die, or the fox might just let it walk past. I don't know. It did last time. Lots of red on the screen, lots of red deaths, but Lathan's has got into here. Now he's just waiting for the CV. Because, yeah, while well, our attention has been split. So I'll have to zoom out a bit. Mobile phone watchers, I do apologize. So that warrior is, uh, warrioring. Uh, that should get that. Yep. And, oh, bit, bit of an overcommitment here <laughs> on the air mobile gun groups. Uh, a cap to Bedford's probably going to get recapped. Uh, but yeah, the, losing those howitzers is pretty big, actually. And the Rover CP is going... Oh, he's been spotted. He's been spotted. He's sending the rifles. This Stolly, you need to just put it like here so he never gets it back. Has he stopped? He stopped! He stopped. He's going to go down that scimitar that spent ages getting over here. Just got SAS'd. Oh, he stopped instead of keeping it going. No, but this is on attack move, so this is stopping. Instead of getting closer, the rifles are going to kill it. Oh, this is so embarrassing. He could have got that. Obvi obviously, we can see more than he can see. Uh, what? Oh, okay, yeah, that's very dead. <laughs> <laughs> but over here, this push has stalled because of that fox. That fox took out those four infantry. Imagine if there were four infantry here. I was going to say in these houses then. It's not much, not much in the way of houses. But yeah, this is the issue that when you send the bombers like that, they're going to curve over here. So, and, and with these Lamaus moved up, it's very difficult. This rover isn't exactly in the zone, I think. Scimitar's also here. These rifles haven't been committed. Oh, he did have two cards of how it's... <laughs> uh, yes, so Doherty's still on a plus one, right? I don't... Lathan's literally needs to take this whole zone and take this whole zone to have a chance of winning, I'm pretty sure. I mean, there's 20 minutes, actually, so... If he takes this whole zone uh, and can test this zone now, maybe he'll win. But he needs a CV for this zone, so here comes the rover. Uh, almost loses a mortar there. This Milan team from the start of the game is still here. And he sees this. Where's that Jaguar cluster? There it is! It has been foretold. He smokes. It's not going to make a difference. <laughs> Down he goes. And he dies, right? So you can only do that four times in the game, depending on what his loadouts are. He seems to have brought a lot of HE bombers. Uh, not sure about this, mate. You just saw all that AA. <laughs> no, I think he's not noticed any panic evacs. Oh, he'll get out. Interesting. That gazelle needs to move. He's getting shot. The mortars are still mortaring, and it's, I guess he's just trying to lower the cohesion, but this is a great place to be. To be honest, this is a great, a greater place to be. <laughs> so it looks like there's now going to be a... Yeah, so I, I'm pretty sure he's actually... Yeah, he's trying to send them here, but he he's noticed that the auto pathing takes them this way, right past the enemy, uh, and this can definitely shoot that. <laughs> down that road here we go the tornado quad stack again uh he's just 
I mean, that's an odd location, but <laughs> the other ones seem pretty decent. And yeah, there's just not enough AA to deal with this. You need like lots and lots of AA, considering that's over a thousand points worth of planes, because they're 265 each. And this, these guys, they're never going to catch it. No, don't fly over the AA again. Uh, I can't keep getting away with it. <laughs> British AA, man. British AA. It's just such a farce. Look at this. Are they both going to get out? No, that one goes down. <laughs> so, Latham's has changed his mind. He's just going to attack here now, because he's already got the tanks there. Uh, and he's finally bought a howitzer, and he's finally hitting the AA. Blimey, that thing, when it exploded, was made a very explodey sound. So, yeah, it's interesting. It's interesting. Lots of things happening. And... This will probably go down because it's not got the car with it. That Milan goes down. But crucially, now you've got to get another CV up here. And that's going to take like three more minutes. And all this time, Doha is on plus two. And yeah, this chieftain could be put here, I guess, to help that chieftain. Um, He will find it very difficult to get in here because of all the 750 meter range rocket launchers. Can't really use his armored advantage. Oh no, I see. He had one card of 155s and one card of 105s. Uh, these rifles will probably clean up all those Saxons and then get spotted. Air mobile gun groups aren't really being micro properly. I think it should, this one should be fighting. But that's four rounds on Saxons instead of like killing a challenger coming down here or something. And these guys have been forgotten about. And you get move them up, you know, move them up. That challenger's getting side shot by that assault pioneer. Hell arm goes down to presumably the rapier. Might have been the Lamel. I can hear planes. It's Phantom. So. Artillery being used to clear the buildings. Uh, that rifles goes down. So he's just moving them to different buildings because there's a lot of buildings here. <laughs> and this isn't an attack move. But he should be able to... I guess it... Oh yeah, it is out of range. <laughs> Command zone lost. There you go. A rover CV is now contesting this zone. And the church is down. But if you get somebody to here, <laughs> the, the foremost building, you will see it. This guy's trying to get to that supply. He needs more than that. Good work on the artillery. I mean, it, obviously 105 is a rubbish, but he, he thinks the CV is there. It's not. It's slightly to the left. Does this guy not see it? Guess not. He needs to get in a building, really. Really needs to get in a building. There's no AA here, so this guy will be able to shoot the ground. Really good kill on the ground there. Top ground kill. <laughs> and, yeah, the Rapier FSAs are being targeted, although with only one Hobbit, so they seem to be surviving. Jaguar Seed obviously does nothing, um, because... Oh no, actually, these, he actually does have Rapier FSAs. Yeah, he actually does have the radar ones. So these guys are all getting rinsed now, and unless this kills this, this is just going to shoot all that. It's got eight eye toes. That's enough to put a serious dent in this force. And it misses. <laughs> it's going to be doing a lot of that. So he's sending the seed plane to take out the hell arm because he sees the problem. So, this is a problem for Doherty. Is he going to reinforce this? Uh, he's going to reinforce it with one arm rifles. And, yeah, the bomber carousel comes back around. Oh, it gets the CV. That's crucial. That's crucial. And the SAS are going to die. Crucially, the CV goes down. But that's a thousand points of bombers. But you don't. he's not lost them. But the, uh, the rover here died to the SAS and the artillery. Over here, this chieftain can't be hurt by these. And this challenger is going to go down to that chieftain because he's got 2 HP. <laughs> this challenger should have helped out, really, instead of sitting there eating rounds. The air mobile gun group just ran into the chieftain and died, and this one's going to do the same thing. <laughs> I guess all the tensions are over here, which is perfectly understandable. And yeah, Lathans might get that and put himself on a plus one with 12 minutes left. Air mobile gun groups just walking into the chieftain. 
this is why you need to mix in a rifle somewhere. And yeah, that would be plus one to Lathan's, but Doherty's been on a plus one for the past, what, 25 minutes, more or less. And it's given him 1451 points. Uh, this guy needs to get out. So the Warrior Milans are being passed down here, I guess. Big investment here, you know, you could just put one fox there. Uh, this guy doesn't see anything. <laughs> And these air mobile gun groups just walked into that chieftain and died. You hate to see it. This SAS is going to die to that scimitar. This challenger is... I mean, he could be sent over there to kill that. I guess... I think eventually Lathans will get this, because there's not a whole lot here for Doherty. But, you know, one hoit, so usually you need two to do anything. And, yeah, these 105s, usually you need uh, infinite to do anything because they're just not very good. But you managed to take out that rover, I guess. You see, it's just not doing anything. Right, they're all firing right on it. Oh, you did one damage. Incredible, one damage. Whoa. And then they'll, they'll run out of ammunition before they... Uh, Bedford MJ... Just, oh, so, yeah, the SAS here got a supply Bedford. Oh, that was the one that was here. It got capped, sent up to the SAS, killed it. Warrior Milan train coming around here now, very difficult to deal with, because as we spoke about, auto cannons, rinse helicopters. If he gets this round to here, it's going to be a big problem, but Doherty should have some bombers. What is this? It is a HE. It is going for that. It might get the rover, because it bombs in a long line. Yeah, it gets it, because as you can see, it bombs in a line. So that's plus two to Lathans. Here we go. So yeah, you see the gazelle just immediately dies uh, to the the scimitar, uh, the auto cannons. Auto cannons just way too good against helicopters. This SS SS yes, it's gonna go down. Uh, it's not looking up for Doherty, but if he can hold on to this one and this one, maybe he can still win. But he can't get reinforcements through this way. Maybe he doesn't know about it yet, but he can't. <laughs> And, yeah, there's a CV coming, but it's very difficult for Lathans to... I mean, I guess he could put it here. But, yeah, imagine having a Milan 2 in the, one of these buildings. Now that the entire forest has been flattened. Chinook Supply goes down there. That was a bit greedy, sending it that far. I guess he assumed the artillery got this because he was shooting at it before. We see the 105s are busy doing absolutely nothing because they're useless. I don't, know, I don't know if I already said that. And the Challenger has a rate of fire of about 1. Mississippi to Mississippi um, and yeah now he's stunned that Chinook supply also goes down needs to smoke him back really he's going to be very slow uh, this is very aggressive <laughs> and uh, yeah uh, I mean mm, that was very aggressive oh this is an interesting play but hey here we go again bomber carousel so far he's lost none of these because there's just there is AA here, but there's not enough to shoot down four planes simultaneously, and now there's one less. <laughs> here we go. Warriors burst through. They kill the 105s. Probably doing Doherty a favor there. Don't send these over the AA again. They're just not going to catch it. You know this from last time. <laughs> so Lathan's on the up, on the up. Nine minutes left to turn this around. I think he needs another zone to have a chance so, uh, these guys have all run out of ammo <laughs> so the phantoms are able to just fly around okay so i was wrong i was wrong clearly doherty have been counting cards as it were needs recon here otherwise these guys don't do anything but yeah that phantom went down and this guy's still circling very difficult to pay attention for these 40 minute games uh this is a big problem though so he needs a Lynx Hell Arm, but he needs to be extremely careful with it because uh, if he gets in auto cannon range, which is very large, it's 1600 meters, then he will die. So Doherty, considering his chances here, yeah, he's just going to defend Echo. Smart man, but... What? <laughs> this guy got around, this guy got around. Striker being sent there, not really what he wants. Needs bombers, but the bombers are all down because he just dropped them on here. So they'll be down for a couple minutes now. And so he's just going to sit in this zone. And that will put him on a plus one, right? 
Or will it be a plus two? Oh, I think this guy just got side shot. I think it must have been a side shot. Yep, don't hurt you back on a plus two. I think this might have just won him the game. Because unless Lathan's getting us into here right now and blows up that CV, which for some reason is at the front, um, he's going to have a tough time. And yes, there are Jaguar clusters. Typically, you want the infantry in front of the Milans, not the other way around. Uh, I know that doesn't make much sense uh, for realism, but in this game, you don't care if your infantry is cheaper, basically. So, you know, you don't care if your losses are high. Here, finally, finally. Why did this take so long? <laughs> First smoke usage of the game from our top player, Lathans, our top 10 player, Lathans. This Harry is just going to run over all the AA to kill a hell arm. Like, why? <laughs> it wasn't even doing anything. <laughs> and yeah, that striker's just unloading, and these guys can't even shoot back. I don't think they can even see it because there's no recon. This gets a lot of missiles. This guy's still here. Lathan's needs to buy. I sent the CV. But honestly, uh, I think he needs to take this zone. Otherwise, he's not going to win. And he just doesn't have the infantry. And now his fire support, and to be honest, the only fire support is the Chieftain. I wouldn't be surprised to see a Jaguar cluster just smack itself into this and kill it. The SAS can definitely see it because it's shooting them. <laughs> warriors versus Warriors. The moving Warriors will beat the... No, it won't. <laughs> arm Rifles versus Arm Rifles. It's a British Civil War. And now these guys are going to try and desperately get to here because there's not time... I mean, he's about to recap this, but look how long it takes to recap. Uh, oh, I see, he took this. I was going to say, because right now this is classed as neutralized. SAS are running into the smoke. He can see it. He can see it because there's a big hole here. No, he can't see it. He can't see it. He's trying to find it. Oh, I think he's going to lose this. Ah, uh, he's lost vision of that now, probably. He needs a recon in this building. Would have been really, really useful. But he can't get his reinforcements in, because there's now two warriors on these two roads. Where is the Jaguar cluster? But Lathan's on a plus three with five minutes left, and I don't actually know... I think he has to kill this. Uh, the challenger... The chieftain's going for the challenger. Oh, but yeah. Obviously the arm rifles... Are, yeah, this challenger's very dead. Because it's done now, and now it's going to get point blank by a chieftain. Yep, yeah, there it goes. Uh, Doha, he just can't get units in. He just can't get units in. He's just relying on the fact that he's got quite a big point lead. But <laughs> so the, the tornadoes, like the javelins, they just don't shoot. Okay, they do shoot, but they don't kill. That one hit a mountain, apparently. And yeah, Lathans needs to get to this zone, I think. Four minutes left, or finish taking this zone. Really interesting game. What a turnaround. Doha, you're just making some micro mistakes and just the air carousel took Lathan's a long time to set it up. You see, he's, he's trying to find he's trying to find the rover and he will get it. Oh, he got it with this. Lots of tornadoes out. To be honest, if the rover was microed properly, it could dodge these, but uh, it obviously doesn't dodge that. And yeah, I'm not sure what happens now. Do they just keep playing? Or I'm pretty sure Lathans needs this zone to win. because so, But he's on a plus four. He's on a plus four with th three minutes, which is 120 times four, which is 480, which isn't enough. So he needs this zone. He needs to get this zone. And I think Doha, he's, he's kind of panicking now, but and, you know, buying Warrior Milans, you can't really go too wrong with that. Engine damaged. He's not going to be able to move out the way in time. He's dead. So, Lathans has realised he needs this zone as well. Because all this was already sat here, basically, so he could have done this a bit earlier. And, yeah, the warrior here has been cleared out, but it doesn't really matter anymore. Now it's just about defending Echo. I think Lathans needs to get an Echo pretty fast. Oh, look, you can see he's just fast past it. The, the arm rifles will blow it up, though. The Wombats can't shoot to here. Jaguar Cluster going for the Chieftain. I think it's going to miss. Yeah, it did. And it'll get out, but with two minutes left, we'll, ne we'll not see this plane again this game. Because of the repair times. Rovum lands between them should kill this. 
Yeah. Tornado cluster going for... He th must think that there's still a challenger in there, but there's not. Phantom fails to do anything. It seems to be diving for some reason. And that Rover CV went down to this arm rifles. And so did that chieftain. Um, Lathan needs to load all his guys up and just fast path them over here. I don't... I don't... I don't think he can win, because... It takes time to kill arm rifles. <laughs> no, he's literally just suiciding his planes into him, just trying to desperately buy time. But th this is the last zone on the map, so none of this, these guys don't need to attack over here. They all need to be over here. And you can see that, like, these were clearly destined for something else. I oh, know he's still sending them there. All these guys should just be fast pass down here. So, I don't know. I don't think there's time. I think Doha is going to win. Because even at this point, let's say Lathans goes up to a plus six, there's one minute thirty eight left, and I can't see him I can't see Lathans cracking this in the next minute. <laughs> so yeah, really interesting game. Really interesting game. Um every time I see Lathans on first UK he loses because obviously it's the worst division in the game, as we spoke about. And second UK is the second worst division in the game, but you know, um when you're against the worst division in the game it doesn't really matter. So, yeah, UK suffers, and that's GG. So, let me know what you think. I thought that was a really good game, actually. I really enjoyed that. Uh, proper good comeback. So, Lathans is ranked uh, 11th, and he's had 110 games, 109 games this season. And Doha, he's ranked, we don't know. It's not me. It just comes up with my profile. That bug's been in the game for a long time. Doha, he losing his heavy howitzers was a big problem actually because those were just constantly picking off units and stopping pushes and stuff like that stopping guys getting into the corners of zones like like that and he lost those to the scimitar and then he lost the light ones as well so yeah defend your flanks is all i can say and yeah i'll see you around